That's right, Mike. So the Sacramento County Sheriff's Office say there was a fight between Antonio Thomas and his cellmate. They say that on December 9th, around 1040 in the morning, they received an emergency call from Thomas from his cell. And when deputies arrived to his cell, they found him on the ground unresponsive. It's terrible. I cannot imagine life without my son. Anita Thomas says it took authorities 24 hours after her son was transported to UC Davis Medical Center with a serious injury to notify her. When the officer called me and tell me nobody's hurt, he just wanted to come talk to me. Nobody's hurt, nobody's in trouble. But then when he gets to my house, he went to an address I haven't lived at in five years. Then he make it to my house after I give him my address after he calls me. And then he, that's when he come with him and two other officer and say that he was found unresponsive in his cell and they don't know if he had an altercation with another inmate or not. The Thomas family, along with Black Lives Matter, Sacramento chapter is now demanding answers and they say they're not sure who the fight was with. There's no bruising and there's no fight. And the man that we're talking about, he would defend himself if he was up against somebody else and he didn't fight anybody. So we think that it's most likely somebody, um, staff or a deputy, but we're not sure we want those answers. That's what we're trying to find out. In a press release, the Sacramento Sheriff's Department says, there was no use of force or altercation of any kind between any sheriff's deputy and Mr. Thomas. There is, however, evidence of an altercation between Mr. Thomas and his cellmate. The Thomas family is now demanding that the Sacramento County Sheriff's Department release video from inside the jail. Thomas was initially booked on December 7th for a violation of probation. Now, I spoke with the sheriff's spokesperson, and she says detectives are currently working on adding charges related to this incident on that cellmate. Now, as far as that security video, she says, quote, any videos related to this incident are considered evidence of an ongoing criminal investigation. As such, videos will not be subject to release. Reporting live outside UC Davis Medical Center, I'm Eddie Gomez. Back to you.